Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Blend of Love and Adventure. If you're new, thank you for coming on over. And if you are returning, thank you so very much. Your support is definitely appreciated. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. This is my October meal plan. Yes, I know, guys, it is October 4th. I do apologize. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm a little late, but guys, it's um, real life. I don't know what's going on with my shirt right there. I do apologize. What I should be having tonight, I will not be having. So let me go ahead and go backwards and jump into that. We have leftover pulled pork from the crock pot. Um, so we will be having barbecue tonight. But what I should have had tonight, which we just had an abundance, so it works out well. So I'm going to start from today's date, the 4th, and go all the way through the, the I said the year, the month. I'm sorry, I'm not going to bore you that much. All right, so on my meal plan, my ultimate goal for this month is four meals a week to five meals a week with leftovers, okay? So that's just how I want to do it. Cuts down on my grocery budget. And if you're new to this channel and you don't know, my grocery budget for a family of six is $250. Stock up haul on occasion, $300. Okay, um, so I just ordered my groceries. I will do a separate haul for you guys with separate totals for you guys. But for all my newbies that do not know, um, I don't always have to buy meats because we have a freezer that we keep stocked with meats. And that is where that stock up haul budget, I, I buy meats in bulk and I divide them out. So another thing that we're doing, I'm using a lot of fillers um, that saves on the meat because guys, meat prices are so expensive. I was watching the Hodgepodge Life of Jesse, and she was saying how expensive meat um, is where she's at as well. So it's not just here in North Carolina. I'm not going to give her location out, but she's not in North Carolina. <laughs> but she actually um, said it was expensive where she's located as well. So it's across the United States. Meat is so expensive. So with that, use fillers. If you don't know what a filler is, I did do that. I don't, I can't honestly say if I edited it out or not. It was a last minute fall food Friday recipe that Caleb told me to make a fall food Friday instead of a day in the life. But I had used noodles in my vegetable soup. That is a filler. I used half, not even half the meat. Like I used just a little bit of meat, but use fillers. It fills you up. Pasta, rice, potatoes, <clears throat> pretty much like starchy foods. It is a filler. So it makes your meat last and it fills you up. Now, is it the healthiest? Not always, but it does save on your budget. Okay, let's jump on in. Okay, enough of talking. Let's jump in. Y'all, I'm I don't understand what's going on with my shirt today because it normally does not do that, but it's a white sports bra. I apologize. It is hot outside already here in North Carolina. It's humid. Just ignore it. Maybe my hair will cover it up. There you go. Maybe my hair will cover it up. I apologize. I never try to show that kind of off. I'm not that type of woman at all. I'm very, you know, put together here. Okay. Now I will be using this recipe this month, but I'm not going to use it today. Okay. Crock pot lasagna. I made that the other week. So if you want to see it, it is in a day of the life, I believe. Super, super simple. I'll link the recipe down below. Okay. And then leftovers, then crock pot pork chops with gravy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Over rice. There you go. Over rice. Um, and then I will not have extra for leftovers that night. I will not. I only have four pork chops in my freezer, and there's four of us, and my kids love pork chops, so um, I won't have leftovers. So then we have crock pot chicken and that's going to have green beans and corn with leftovers. And then I want to do a batch cooking of crock pot chili. I am going to freeze that. So I'm going to make enough of chili. Y'all, I'm going to bust out my big metal bowl. Y'all seen me use this before. Love my metal bowl. Love it. Slice my heart. And I have a sink big enough to clean it. Yay. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm going to freeze four batches of chili. That's a lot of chili. And that's a lot of meat. But I'm doing it for my fam. Okay. And then we're going to have leftovers. Okay. Now we're going into the following week, the 11th through the 17th. If all goes as planned. Crock pot chicken parmesan with leftovers. Crock pot cheeseburger soup. Leftovers. This is the only, <laughs> this is one of the crock pot, not crock pot meals. We're going to do homemade pizza. Y'all know we do pizza Friday. And then crock pot chicken and gravy. And that will be served over um, rice as well. It is what it is. Um, and then spaghetti and meatballs in the crock pot. Y'all have made um, meatballs in the crock pot in the past. It is an old video from when we used to live in 
um, the new two-story house. I don't know that I can find it, but I, if I can't find that video to link it, I'll just type it out. It's not difficult, I promise. <laughs> so, and I think J Jessie has made my, my meatballs in the crock pot. So, I know she's done it before. So, that video is somewhere on this channel. Y'all, I do not organize my videos under playlists. I, if y'all want me to, leave me a comment down below. I can do that if it helps you guys out, but... I'll do whatever you guys want me to do on that one. All right. So, and here, this just reminded me. So, if I have a recipe, I, it goes on the back of the meal plan. So, I have everything together. Um, because, yes, guys, I, I have to be organized or I lose track of life here. <clears throat> okay. Week of the 18th through the 24th. Reuben brats in the crock pot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, and then I'm going to make a French onion rice um, casserole dish, um, meal that day for a side. I don't have a recipe. I'm going off my sister. She made this for my kids one time. My kids loved it. Pretty much all it is is French onion soup and rice. Like I can't describe it anymore. That, that, I don't know, but it is, my kids love it. So we're going to have that as a side that night. All right. Pork tenderloin with, I have an abundance of canned vegetables. So we're going to eat up our canned vegetables. Okay. I have a lot of green beans, so I might make it like a green bean casserole or something. So my kids eat that. It is all good. Then we're gonna have um, crock pot everything stuffing. That stuffing has like meat and veggies and everything in it. We should have leftovers from the pork tenderloin and the stuffing. So on that Thursday, we will have all leftovers. It's kind of a gather your fragment Thursday. On so we're gonna have the vegetable soup that I made for my fall food Friday. I froze it. So Caleb and I will be having that for that Friday. And then Saturday, we're gonna have appetizers. So I'm gonna make buffalo wing dip in the crock pot and i'm gonna make this new sandwich um when i make the recipe i'll link it down below so we're gonna have like little slatter sandwiches we're gonna have that dip and chips and that's what we're gonna have for that saturday and then sunday is gonna be gathering your fragments so whatever we have left over is what we'll have on sunday okay so you are gonna hear millie and guys i'm so sorry she is very very loud but anyway um on october 25th through the 31st now i have not bought groceries for that week yet i've not bought groceries for that week yet so monday um we're gonna have chili mac in the crock pot leftovers on tuesday wednesday uh crock pot beef stew thursday leftovers okay on that friday we are going to be going camping so we are taking the crock pot with us and I'm going to be making a recipe that a subscriber has sent to me um, a while back when I asked if anybody wanted to do the crock pot with me. And I was kind of like cleaning out my freezer and everything at the old house before we moved. Um, and she sent me a recipe. I do not have a name of the recipe. So in my house, we call it LB potato soup. I don't, I don't know. But guys, it is so good. I have it all written down right here. I don't even know that you guys can see that. I'll type it out in the description whenever I make it. Or I can do it in this video, and that way you guys can have it and make it yourself. But um, if you want, um, my, it was um, my subscriber. Her name is Lenora Bradley, and my kids loved that recipe. I literally had all four kids ask this time, can you make that in the crock pot when we go camping? Because they loved the flavor, and, the, and it filled them up. And they just, I mean, guys, I had none left. And I was like, okay. All right, that's, that's a winner. Let's do it. So, we're having that the first night we go camping. Saturday night, um, at the campground, they're going to do trick-or-treating and hayride and all that fun stuff that comes along with um, Halloween. So, I am going to start a thing of chili. Because if you remember from the, the week ahead, I've already have it in the freezer. So, all I have to do when we go camping is take it with me, dump it in the crock pot, and go on with my day kick it on low for a few hours. So maybe that afternoon, um, probably around, cause it's, the burger's already cooked. So everything just needs to marinate together. So probably around three o'clock, I'll just put it on low and we won't eat until like seven or so. And it would just be one of those, go in there, make a bowl and come back out when you're hungry type thing. Like you just do it yourself. Okay. And then um, that Sunday when we get back, we're gonna do pork chop potato, pork chop potato dinner. And, no, ma'am, 
And that is a new recipe. I don't know. That is a new recipe that I'll be trying. It is right here. I have no idea. But again, I'll link this down below. Mainly my recipes come from Taste of Home, if anybody cares. That is normally where I get all my online recipes. Um, so if you ever want to look something up and I forget to link it, cause you know guys, I'm human and I will forget to put something in my description box in a minute. I will totally forget. Most of my recipes are from Taste of Home. Love that um, website. I can find everything from breakfast to dinner to lunch to snacks to desserts everything love it that website has never let me down not sponsored <laughs> but i love it um but anyway that was my um that's my menu plan i will type all that out in the description box below so i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully i can give you some good ideas stay tuned for my was for dinner for crop October. what and that's why we're doing crock pot meals so exciting i love my crock pot why not do it right everybody's doing it on youtube you know what i'm gonna jump on that bandwagon yes i am and i normally don't do that crop tober i'm so excited so <clears throat> i'm waiting to hear back from a friend Let's see if she wants to do it with me so i'm so stoked crop tober Hence the crop pot meals. So, just guys, I want to do a was for dinner every single week in October to show you exactly how to make these meals, show you um, start to finish, and give you a review, see if they're good. Because some of these are new to us. Some of these are totally new to us, and we don't know. So, I'll have my kids review it. And that is the easiest way to know if a meal is really good. If a kid gives you a true review, there you go or my husband I mean, you know what i mean <laughs> so um i will have your review i will have how you make it i'll show you how you make it start to finish and it should be one two three like i said three to four meals a week because i'm making an abundance to have leftovers so yes crocktober guys i'm so excited um love my crock pot I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you got some great ideas. And again, I cannot keep saying it. Please watch my What's For Dinners if you want to know how to make these meals. And if you want to know a review, if they're tasty, if they're kid friendly, and they're all going to be quick because they're dump and go recipes. So yeah, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Also, don't forget, I have a grocery haul coming up for October to show you all Definitely this stuff. Definitely watch my grocery haul and try out my recipes. And if you do, let me know in the comments below if you have any other crock pot meals. Because, guys, I am a crock pot girl. I love my crock pot. I'll leave everything in the description box below. Um, the meal plan, the recipes, everything. Okay? So, I will see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a blessed day.